Hello everybody and welcome back to Beta Days. I'm Beanin and today we have a different type of episode planned. Well, different for me. We're not going to be building, we're not going to be adventuring, we're actually heading back to Riverton and going to build the beacon. We're finally getting beacon powers there. It's been so long, I think I started this world in October. So it's about time we had a beacon and kept progressing towards our end goals of becoming kings in our land. Last episode, we went around and messed around in the Mesa over on the other side of that portal uh, and just kind of got our bearings, looked around. It was really more of just a way to make sure everything was working correctly with my new setup, my new monitor, and to make sure everything uploaded correctly. Uh, in the 2k settings before we get started with things today remember to leave a like leave a comment let me know what you think about it about the video I don't, I don't know why i said it just blatantly and if you're new remember to subscribe i post videos every monday wednesday and friday with a stream on saturday and random videos in between we also need to name this guy so maybe comment what his name should be but anyways let's head over to riverton and start on that beacon hopefully we won't have any issues, but knowing me, we might. Now, let that, let the audio, there we go. Now that we're back here, I don't know why I said it like that. We can go ahead and begin on, I guess the easiest part of our uh, adventure here. And that would be digging out the beacon space. I know I'm going to end up putting uh the beacon in the center of here i messed up the floor ow i messed up the floor a little bit but that shouldn't be an issue the biggest thing is making sure i don't have a well actually you know the biggest thing is let's set up the area now i think the biggest size beacon is seven by seven at the base let's see yep this is the right one I think it's seven by seven at the base. So if we dig down all the way to the uh, <laughs> the bedrock layer, then we should be able to have a kind of uh, grasp on what we're going to do. Now the digging isn't going to be the hardest part. Actually, the building the beacon will be the hardest part. I also got to be careful and make sure. I'm not digging into lava under here, which is why I'm going the two route. Uh, and I just realized that I didn't bring any blocks, but don't worry. I'll have plenty uh, when we're back up there. But <laughs> right now we'll just dig the hole out and I'll figure out what the base layer for the beacon is. And I might even have to build multiple beacons because Riverton is quite big. Um, and I don't really know the width, the radius of a beacon. Oh, gosh. Oh, boy. Uh, oh! oh! That, that, that one, that, that one made my heart drop. Oh, you dropped too. Looks like we're buddies. <laughs> well. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Nope. Those are. Okay. Yeah. Let me just fix this real quick. There we go. Was not expecting that. But hey, is that the deep dark? Okay. No. But hey, at least we have. Okay. I'm going to have to fix. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Yep. I'm going to need to block this off because I don't want any issues like that again. All right. So it's this one. Okay. You know what? There we go. Okay. That good? Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Right. Barring any more occurrences like that i'm going to keep digging this down and once i get down oh here it is i was gonna say once i get down to bedrock 
going to need to dig out a section for the beacon. So I'm going to look up these kind of uh, amount that I need to dig for this beacon. And I will be back. All right. So it appears I need a 7x7, seven seven, which, including this block, I'll have to go out. Let's see. If this is the middle, then it will be I'm trying to do the math in my head. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait. One, two, wait. <laughs> Okay, this is going to be painful. All right, so it turns out I needed seven. Seven by seven. Which, honestly, I think I should go ahead and do one more. And this can be my center block. Wait. Was this the center block? One, two, three. One, two, three. Yep. Okay. Now I can have a center block right there. And I can go one out because we'll need it for building space. I don't know how high I have to go. Let's see. It's a pyramid. So I don't think it's anything too crazy. Because mm. I know, I think I had a 9 by 9 one. But I can't remember. Either way, I'll probably have multiple beacons as time goes on. But for now, this one beacon... Oh, look at that! <laughs> That's lucky. For now, this one beacon should suffice. And I think this will be a fortunate episode because we just found diamonds and like i say it's always good when you find some diamonds let's grab some of these do i have any more ah ha, ha, i got you only three you got fortune mm. <laughs> well that's all right now time to go back to the surface and grab the beacon and we'll check if we have enough blocks this you yeah, know, this will be, we'll deal with that later. I'd also like to apologize in advance. If I sound a bit weird, these allergies, man, it's, ah, oh, you just ruined my day. It's the middle of March and pollen is at full bloom down here. Oh yes, I did a little mining. I forgot about that. Just played a little during the week, uh, last week. But nothing too crazy. Just a few diamonds, some iron. Which actually I'm going to take you. And let's go see what all I have cooking up in the furnace. Because aside from the beacon, we are going to need all of the iron we can muster. And I know most of you will be like, you should make an iron farm. And I should. I should. But. Nah. <laughs> Oh, there's some iron in there. All right, so I think all the glass is in here. But, let's see. So you in here, grab that iron. Turn that on for now. And then while that's working, I can go ahead. Ooh, look how nice the dome looks. While that's working, I can go ahead and grab, see what iron we have. Grab the beacon. And, yeah. Just kind of grab that. Up, everyone who celebrates had a good Easter. Uh, I just went and hung out with family. So pretty easy, pretty simple. But it was nice, a good relaxation. If you don't celebrate Easter, I hope you had a good Sunday. <laughs> because Sundays are great no matter who celebrates them. Time off work is really nice. <laughs> I should also try and find where uh, my scaffolding is because i don't really know where it is i have a lot more than this i know that oh there's some iron right there oh i had plenty of quartz in here what oh, that's a lot of smooth stone oh. well i'll take that because string will go to use for scaffolding there's one other place i think i could check over here in the church i mean there's scaffolding right here so i'll take that I'll take you too. All I know is I started off this world with tons of scaffolding. Uh, oh, there you are. I was going to say it has all mysteriously disappeared. Oh boy. Okay, well, let's check. Make sure. Okay. 
Check and make sure I don't have anything up here. I completely forgot about this. Okay. Yeah, I built this like back in, I don't know, January. Something like that. Need to fix it up. Need to make it look better. But now that I got the scaffolding. Oh, I forgot the most important part. The beacon. Leave it to me. <laughs> you know, this, this area is my favorite. I need to build something over here. But I think I'm going to do like a tower or something. Maybe I'll do that next episode. Who knows? I know I have to start transitioning into... Uh, what's it called? How, what? I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah. The Victorian era. Because now I got all these uh, Industrial Revolution buildings. You know? So, I'm going to have to fix those. Chicken. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Is that, is that is that good? Is that good? We're good. Cool. Uh, I've got plenty of it. All right. Yep. Armor, mob drop, string. You can always use that. Let's make some more. Should be good. Honestly, <laughs> that's a lot. And let's grab. Not that. Grab some more iron. Just in case, because every block helps. I think you need about 80... 80 80-something blocks. 7 times 7 is 56. Yeah, you're going to need something like 80. And 7 times 7 is most de definitely not 56. 7 times 8 is 56. <laughs> oh, it's been forever since I've done actual just... Math. Oh, I guess I only had... Yeah. Um... Yeah, 7 times 7 is 49. Kids, don't listen to Beanin for math. Don't listen to Beanin for a lot of things. Listen to Beanin for building. That's about it. Alright, I'm sorry. Don't spit at me. Go away. I wish I could disable you. Stop spawning. You do nothing. You're useless. This is like daily negative affirmation. Alright. So we have... This, I think, yeah, I was going to say, I think this is the, this is the one where, yeah, that. So, now that we have the iron, we can go down here. I might have to build a, what's it called? Uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. I might have to build an access elevator or something like that because who knows? I might want to change my beacon, but for now. We're going to place it well below Grand Central Station. At least the first beacon. Also, why does it do this? Look at this. It's like, it says there's sun, but there's no sun. The shaders are a little messed up. They're a little confused, you see. But I think we should have enough iron. And I need to know that this one is the center of one. Well, I need to remember. Otherwise, I'm going to look real silly when the beacon doesn't work. Alright. Don't want to fall in there again. Ooh, iron. Have I explored this cave yet? I don't see any torches. Anything? Nope. No diamonds? Ah. Kind of annoying. Sad, sad day. Ah. Alright. So, seven by seven. One. Wait. Wait, yeah, that's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Three. Okay. And then. Okay. But is this seven? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Should be good. Now, this is pretty much all of my iron. And I don't know. Dang it. Don't know if I'm going to have enough. Let's see. Oh. Yep, I knew this was going to happen. All right. Well, let's continue digging this out a little bit. I should put a beacon. Or not a beacon, uh. 
torches down at each corner. Even though the beacon will give us plenty of light. Also, random thing, but I was looking at my monitor. Like, it's almost like it's got, uh, like, eye saver mode on, but it's not on. And then I was like, oh, wait. This is what true, like, colors look like in high definition. My 1080p monitors are so, like, low definition compared to these that I'm just like, oh, wait, this is why games look so good. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. I know that this won't take 40 minutes to set up. So I have, have planned to build another house, at least in Riverton, that we can all, you know, enjoy and marvel at. Might even work on the tower. I don't know. But I think I want to at least... Well, no, we can we can do some maintenance and tear down the church. We can even start working a little on the townhouse. Or the second townhouse. Oh, yeah, that's going to work perfectly fine. And maybe adding some detail to... Oh, boy. This... Wait, hold on. Okay, this is the one. This is the right one, right here. Because if I hit F1, I hit C. Yep, okay. All right. You know, I did all that, and I didn't even grab the dang bacon. <laughs> hold on. Let me go grab it. You know, I'm sitting here placing scaffolding. Like, when's it going to end? But then I realized the scaffolding's inside. So it has to end. And it's only going to end when I hit the roof. There we go. Okay, so I've officially hit the roof. Sometimes my brain, you know? Oh, that's so cute. My cat Sasha is hanging out in the little kitty condo I made out of my monitor box. And he's just sitting there looking at me. <sighs> Sometimes when he's not a property damaging little freak, he can be very cute. But most of the time he's a property damaging little freak. <laughs> Sasha is one of my cats, by the way. I have Wilbur and I have Sasha. Wilbur likes food to a fault. And, well, Sasha, you know, he's just Sasha. Thank you, Mr. Beacon. You've done tremendously well. But now... Oh, that was a weird sound. But now you must serve me a better way. By actually giving me your... How do you say? Benefits? <laughs> Your buffs. I don't know what buff we should do. I haven't had time to sit down and think about that, honestly. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. I could use regeneration. Lord knows I could use that. But, in this world, I'm not really... You know, I'm not really, like... That's not an issue for me. Now, I think I can get by with I don't know. See, haste is good for mining. And I can always change it, which is why I should probably most likely definitely make a beacon access shaft somewhere. Or dig, like, a tunnel to it. Maybe I'll write down the coordinates. Who knows? But I need to be able to change it readily, as this is my only beacon. Alright, so we are down here in the hole. Let me just go ahead and make it visible so we can see when this thing is working all right let's do this <clears throat> hello ah yeah why aren't you working hello Hello? Beacon! What the heck, man? Uh. What? Okay, let's see. Wait. Uh. Oh! Okay, I had it wrong. I had it wrong. <laughs> False alarm. There we go. What? Oh. What the? 
Okay. So I could get haste. I could get speed. I could get jump boost. It's uh, a weird sound. Let's get... Let's try jump boost, you know? Why not? Whoa! <laughs> boing, boing. All right, how, how, how tall can I jump? Whoop. Okay, well enough to hit this. Ah. Let's test my vertical. Okay, so what is it like? Is it like one and a half? Hold on, this is scientific. And that. Okay, so I can jump about one and a half and I guess it jumps up to two. Once I'm in the beginning. Let's go see what it looks like up here. And it should work infinitely up, right? I think so. Oh no. Let's see. It's pretty. Whoa. That's cool. That's like kind of like sci-fi. Sci-fi-ish? Sci-fi-y? Now, let's see if it's stopped by this. Uh, cobblestone wall. And if not, let's see how it looks coming out of Grand Central. Oh, wow. This is a really long way. Wow. <laughs> I remember when you could just go down, like, you know, just... I like the lighting. Hello. Is it... <gasps> oh! <laughs> Look at that. I forgot it also does it. Okay, so I still have jump boost, right? Let's see. Come here. This is one and a half blocks. Okay, yep. Should be able to jump that. All right, now how far... Oh, that's so cool. Yo! <laughs> oh, look at that! Quick, before it gets too light, let's get the thumbnail. Hey! Now, what's the radius on this? Is it the bigger the beacon, the bigger the radius? Oh, look at that. It looks like a green laser. Wow, that goes up far. Okay, so it wears off here. Dang it! Oh my god. <laughs> look at that. It's like some kind of crazy disco laser. I forgot it changes color based on what glass it goes okay so i guess <laughs> i guess it kind of looks like you know whichever whichever okay so don't really need jump boost out here but can i get it inside of my house that's a real question at least i won't um <laughs> all right let's see let's see how far it goes Ah, okay. So, to the small Amazon warehouse. And then... Could it go over here? Hello? Alright. What? Okay, so this is like... Right here is the cutoff. Well, now that, that's not very, <laughs> that's not very wide. <laughs> I mean, I guess most people's bases are narrow like this, but I don't know. How do you expand? How do you expand your beacons? This is something that's, this is something that's new to me. And I think, oh, I'm going to have to completely dismantle it for a nine by nine. But at least I know how it works. I'll have to research on some of the beacons. Or some of the beacon mechanics and stuff like that. I know there's always some good um, 
I craft MC. I think he's the one who does a lot of very good, you know, work with beacons. <laughs> and oh well, he does a lot of good guides, so I should I should check that out. But we have a working beacon. I know that Grand Central Station isn't the uh you know. It's not finished yet, but having something right here, you know, that's kind of nice. And when I say yeah. Now, I need to make sure I don't, like, fall and die. So I guess I can grab these. Ooh, brain freeze. Okay, that's good. That's good. I don't need to, <laughs> I don't need to fall and die. Woo! Woo! Okay, jump boost is a little dumb. Maybe I'll do regeneration. Or maybe resistance. I don't know. Anyway, let's move on to the next portion of the day. I'm trying to break things up, you know, keep things a little interesting. Maybe add some more stuff to everything and, and so on and so forth. One of the things I've been wanting to address for a minute now is this area, like right here. It's kind of a needless... Uh, rise in the road because i mean it's it's just this little area that's risen up now of course i have my animal pit and i just <laughs> sorry i didn't mean to snort i didn't even know that was possible um i have my little area and i have my animal pit sheep you're staying in there buddy which this will get filled up as i build buildings but you know, right here, it's just... Oh, sorry. Right here, I just wanted to clear this up. And then I think we can add some trees and greenery around here. Maybe fix up this area. I don't know what we're going to do with over here. Kind of adding some details into the... What's it called? Uh, Kind of adding some details into, you know, the general area. Yeah. Look at that. I'm just waiting for the sun to go down before I start uh, my next thing. But this, this is nice. You know, this, this is finally the new centerpiece instead of my house. My house used to be the old centerpiece, but I think this one takes the cake. Which is good. Because my house was never meant to be the focal point. I want this to be a wholesome, like, uh, I guess wholesome. Wholesome? Wholesome. Wholesome? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I want this to be like a well-rounded build. And I think this side I've been doing quite well. I should start focusing more on that side. I've kind of abandoned it just for right now. But I don't know. I've been having a lot of fun with this side overall. Let's see if we can get that thumbnail. Almost there. Come on. And there we go. I want to recap the... Uh, I want to I want to capture, you know, how crazy the beacon looks, but you know, the bigger picture I don't know. Oh my god, that looks so cool. <laughs> Look at that. You can see it anywhere. Let's see if I can get a bigger better angle. Ooh. Like I need to yeah, I need to Oh. I need to show how much I can Oh, god. Hey. Hey! Ah. Oh! Uh, Got me pressing the wrong buttons. Ah. These guys are annoying. Don't you go? Stop it! Oh my god, that was annoying. Anyway, let's see. Uh huh. I'll see. I, I'll see which one looks good. I don't know. That one doesn't really... Uh, we'll see. Hey! Spiders! Get away from my bed. Next up. Ow. Let's go ahead and spruce up the Grand Central Station area. I know we'll need it. But let's first, let's go to bed. I totally, definitely did not have Peaceful on that whole time that I was putting up the beacon. But it didn't really matter because... You know, we weren't... 
Didn't hurt nothing. Nothing. <laughs> anyway, let's run over to the. Yeah, I guess it'd be down here. Yep. Run over to the storage. Maybe get some bones. Do some bones. Some bone meal. Thank you. I think that's plenty. Uh, let's see what seeds and saplings we got. Where are they at? Where are they at? Hey. Ah. Awful. Oh. Give me some of these. I was going to say awful lot of birch saplings. But that's a good thing to have. Uh, ooh. Wait. The glowstone's in there. <laughs> I'm trying to just, you know, have a nice little alcove. Not alcove. That's the wrong word. And... Mm, oh, thank you. There we go. I'm going to use my tree farm in a minute. Make sure I got enough saplings in here. Oh, yeah, plenty. I'm trying to make a nice little nature area around here. You know, someone said to go ahead and... Okay, well, first off, I need a birch tree right there. Ooh, a big one. There we go. There we are. Let's put a birch tree here, a birch tree there. Maybe an oak tree right here. Ooh, aw. I was going to say, please be a tall one. Ooh. Let's do these. Nice. See, it's like... Okay, well, hold on. There we go. What was that saying? Oh, yeah. It's not having... Uh, you know, how much... Or however much stuff... That really makes the build, in my opinion. Oh. Oh, that's horrible. Give me a better one. Come on now. You can do better than that. Let's see. But it's not having like a bunch of trees and stuff that makes something look good to me. Well, kind of. <laughs> it's kind of the bigger picture. I'm building in the bigger picture. So here, it'll look a little... Like close up, I'm not that detail oriented, but far away, you know... <laughs> I could have so done like speed or something. What? You done? Mm. Okay. It's all right. It's all right. All right. It's okay. We'll just dig that one. We'll chop that one down, and come back to it. We'll re we'll revisit. Okay. No need. No need to lose a cool. <laughs> there we go. Awesome. Yeah, we'll chop. We'll, we'll come back to that. Come over here. Get some nice grass. Here? I don't know. Like, I don't know what you want me to... Like, what I should put here. Because... You know, it can't be too much. But again, who wants to look at... You know, a bunch of warehouses and stuff like that. Well... I don't know. I can... Riverton, I can blend it in. I kind of make it an eco-friendly city. Um, You know, not have such barren grass. Is what I'm hinting... What, what I'm getting at. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I think... Yeah. That should be enough trees. Enough grass. Get some more bone meal. Oh! You, you'll have to go. Or will you? Maybe you'll have to be a little weird tree. And I know everyone says you should do like... Okay, this one was a bad one. I know everyone says you should do um, custom trees. Eh. <laughs> like here, I can save this one because, well, we'll just do this. It'll look different, but... You know, don't need too much. 
Can you stop? I have really fat fingers right now. I'm sorry. There we go. Ole! Nice. And then, of course, I'm going to mix in the, uh, the glowstone. There we go. Now. Grow! Thank you. You grow. Thank you. Hey, you can mix nature and industry. I'm kind of re bringing it back. Bringing back the beauty to the land. Okay, I guess I should focus on making the grass grow instead of the trees. Just because the trees will grow on their own. And honestly, they might grow a little better than me encouraging them. Actually, never mind. Grow a tree! Oh. <laughs> you. How are you going to grow? Oh! Not good. That's what. How are you doing up here? Doing okay. Okay. That's good. I'm glad it's getting night because I put my tree here and I can put my wood right here. One, two, three, four. All right. Now you should grow. Oh, what? Uh, was it? Mm. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to give up right here. We're just going to have an open corner. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, that was... What? Uh, that was a bad decision on me. All right. Let's get the glowstone, the shovel. I know I have more than this. But do I really need more? Oh. Eh, whatever. <laughs> I was like, whoa. Uh-huh. You don't have to do anything too crazy for now. Just go through here. Just make sure no ugly monsters spawn or anything. Something to keep the lights on. Something to keep the monsters away. Oh. There you go. Uh, let's see. Ah! I don't know why they don't, you know, let you do this. Or why they let the trees stay alive. There we go. Here, you know, I'll have to... I think here I'll just stick with the tall grass. You know, you don't really have too many trees by an industrial area. But you do have some good tall grass. And also the tall grass will help, you know, with hiding the quarry. Oh, they mean that. And also help me with my bone meal. Okay, yeah. Uh-huh. That should be good. Come over here. Boom, 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 boom. Yep. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Oh, it looks pretty. And now I'll be able to see where I need light. I could use a light right here. Thank you. And then possibly one right in here. The key. Well, I also got to remember that this is... Uh-huh. Let's. Ooh. I should probably put one over here, but you know what? Let's put one right here. There we go. I think that's good enough so far. Yeah. Look at that. That's not what I wanted. Yeah. It's looking good to me. Next up on the agenda. I desperately need to tear down this church. It's a sore reminder of, well, when I didn't put enough effort into one of my builds and how bad it turned out, at least in my eyes. It's not a, are you going to make a baby? Are we going to get a baby? First time on camera? Hello? 
Come on. Oh, oh. that's what I like to see. Ah! Didn't make the... Ah. You, have, you have failed me, Greg. But, <laughs> back to where I was. Oh, I need to get my silk touch pick. Yep. I was going to say, back to where I was. I need to tear it down because it doesn't look good. There's gonna, there's gotta be something there. I've gotta come up with a design for it somehow. But I just, I just don't really, I don't know, man. Yeah, so it touches right there. Put you down here, and let's go over there. Actually, hold on. Thank you. Okay, we're all set. Next episode, I will go ahead and you know put this. Uh, a townhouse right here. Maybe I can also work on that down there. You know, do a little decoration over here. Kind of ease back into the way I want things to look. Now, I don't think I'm going to need uh, silk touch for most of this. Because you don't need silk touch for stairs, right? Yep, that's good. And then you don't need... What's it called? You don't need silk touch for stone bricks. You don't need silk. The only thing you need silk touch for is stone, I guess. Well, that should be good. I guess I grabbed it for. Well, no. I don't know. I want. I want a church here. I do. This just isn't the right design. And I'd rather have an empty lot than a lot with a bad building. And yes, I know someone's probably gonna be like, "Oh, your buildings are bad." Because you always have haters. Haters will be around no matter what you do in life. Oh, yeah, a little update while I was just kind of putting around during the week. I went ahead and filled this in with just some trees. I can add some, you know, glowstone. Stuff like that, but I don't know. This little area looks nice. Nothing too crazy, but also nothing, you know. Nothing too simple. It was, it was getting really flat right there for a second. You know, kind of looking like this almost. But, but, I think we're heading in a good direction. I also fell off the roof. <laughs> I don't know if I caught that. I might have. Yeah, that's, that's, that's all I got to say. <laughs> also, random update, but we're almost already at 600 subscribers. That's crazy. <laughs> Can't believe that. You know... Uh, I don't have any huge rant or anything because, you know, I know it's just people who like to watch my stuff, but 500 went by fast. And thank you guys for, you know, watching, subscribing and everything. I'm not the biggest on YouTube, but I'm glad I got people who enjoy my content. And 600 is something that I never thought I would have on YouTube. So, again, thank you. That's just crazy. I'm surprised we got it. We got to it this fast. I, who knows? I I might be at 600 by the end of the week. So look out for a community post. But until then, continue watching Beanin. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sometimes I feel like you guys are embarrassed to watch me. But hey, you know what? I'm making all the mistakes and looking dumb. So you don't have to. Or I'm just doing it publicly. But I know we all do this stuff at home. <laughs> nah. But in reality, I'm just a dude playing Minecraft. This is fun. It's it's a little hard balancing, you know, a 9 to 5 uh, with this and the normal life schedule. But nothing I can complain about. It's just fun. And remember, like I said in my hardcore episode, uh, I should be coming out with a collaboration with another creator. So that should be fun. I, 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 I've never done a collaboration. It's Minecraft related. I don't think they have... No, they do do some Let's Plays on their channel. Um, but I'll leave details pretty vague until it releases. I don't know. It'll be something interesting. It'll be... I think the premise is kind of like just an interview about, you know, Minecraft and my approach to everything. So it'll be fun. It'll be, it'll be worth us doing. And who knows? Maybe you'll get me some new audience members, which would be cool. Because we all know my ultimate goal... It's just, I just want to be able to say I got a 100,000 subscriber plaque. 
But I want to do it the old-fashioned way, and I think I've made that clear with, uh, you know, my YouTube channel. I want to do it like people like Syndicate and uh, all of them did it, and Captain Sparkles, because, you know, that's the era of YouTube I grew up watching, and I don't really care too much for the new YouTube. I enjoy the content, and I know there's great content creators out there, but... You know, it's mainly mainly the shorts. You know, because you can you can get a lot of a lot of views quickly if you know what you're doing. It does take skill. I won't knock that, but I don't know. Shorts shorts are just something else. Something I don't understand is the best way to put it. And and I mean, don't understand in terms of a content creator. I love watching shorts. <laughs> I watch a bunch of cooking shorts usually. Um, but yeah. Now, doing things the old-fashioned way on YouTube is how I want to get my plaque. And I'll be happy with that. But honestly, like, you know, I am happy with 600 subscribers. But, you know, it's always good to have a goal for yourself. I just realized during my righteous rant, uh, I may have been using the Silk Touch that whole time. And I only needed to use it, like, during this time. <laughs> well, I only needed to use it for, like, two blocks. Alright, let's see. Go ahead and... You know. Oh! Whoa! Greg, you're getting around the town, buddy! Hold on. I was about to say, let's observe the villagers, see what they do. Ah. Oh. You know, Greg, you have beds around here. There's like open beds every night. I don't know. Weird guy. Don't trust Greg. <laughs> I've thought about doing an episode that's just a story of Greg. Maybe I will. Let me know if you want to see story of Greg. Sometimes I just like to sit back and look at this. Look at how far... Oh, the, <laughs> the, the green laser of death. Ah, oh, sentimental music. But, you know, I look at things like... Yeah, this world started with, you know, just my little house up there. And now we're growing. It's nothing crazy, but we got Greg's house. We got the bridge. I think that was episode 16. We got Max's house. Max's house was the first big build I did in here. And then we got all the other buildings. Crazy. And now it's sentimental. Let's go check out how uh, Grand Central looks. You know, in the other world, I had a problem with um, monsters spawning up there, but I don't know. I, I guess I don't have... Look at the glare off that from the moon. So cool. Ugh. This is getting me in tears, man. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I'm very proud of my world. I'm very proud of what I've done. Let's see. Gone ahead and cleared out whatever was going on in there. I guess here, you know, we can we can build some. We can work on. Let's work on this. Let me grab this one. Oh, lapis lazuli. Oh, we can build like a little thing down here. <laughs> I know that's very helpful, but. You know. We could build a uh, little restaurant of sorts. Maybe that'll work. I think I might do that. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Now, I know for a fact I need to put some slabs up on that little brick wall. It's just going to look weird if I don't. Where are the slabs? Is that it? Okay, I'm gonna have to get more slabs. Wait, there's a stone. Uh, a sc uh, <laughs> there's a stone cutter over here. There we go. Maybe I might have to fix up around here. I don't know what I can put down there. But yeah, let's make sure I've got this little distinction. Oh, I messed it up. Yeah. I know, I've kind of forgot the, the river walk. 
But let's see. Do I need to lay out the floor plans of this? No, no. I'll keep that for next episode. Ne next episode we'll uh we'll go ahead and finish we'll build out these. Build these out. I don't know how many we'll build, but I'll make sure we'll build a good amount. Here, let's see. I should just stick with what I know best. And what I know best right now is minor decoration. If nothing, at least getting the, uh, at least getting the slab, you know, or the, yeah, I guess the concrete slab laid out just where I want to put stuff in the future. I don't really have a vision for it right now, but I know in the future, oh no, you're raining. <laughs> I know I'll want one soon. So yeah. All right. So once I get this done, we can evaluate what we're going to do. I don't know. There's not, uh, uh. <laughs> you know, yeah, sometimes you just can't English. Sasha's rubbing up on my legs right now. That's a very interesting thing. I mean, well, interesting because whenever I try to pet him, he acts like it's the worst thing in the world. But then, of course, when I sit down to record a video, he's my best friend. It's weird how cats are. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Oh, we can go. We can go get some more. Go get some. Uh, what's it called? Not TLC. <laughs> Let's go get some. Ooh, I should also figure out what I'm gonna do. Right here. Maybe, a, maybe keep it a river walk. I don't know, cause I don't want. In theory, I don't want the pedestrians to be able to just walk over. This is a good. Oh no, that's just water hole. I just don't want pedestrians to be able to walk over into. You know. The industrial area. <laughs> I also need to fill out that. I think I'm going to finish these townhouses, fill this in, and then fill out over there before I build anything more this direction. Uh, I put you here and here. I only need one tree. Do I, mm, let's take... Where the bone meal go? Uh, I was going to say, let's take the bone meal just in case. Uh, you can go up there. <laughs> See, we took down the thing. The church. Kind of, yeah. I will have to apologize. I got a late start again because of the holidays. So these videos may be a little shorter uh, this week. But I'm going to try my best to give you quality content. At least the content you are used to from Beanin. <laughs> There we go. Look at that. I know I don't have much light down here, but yeah, we'll figure that out. The light will come when we add stuff. Yeah. Down here, yeah, should be should be a little bar. I have a lot of weird places I forget about. Like if you come down here, uh like right here, no one would know that Greg's house has a little basement with a slab. You know, but it does. And it's been a staple of our builds for a while. Well, it's been a staple of our village for a while. And of course, you can't forget about down here. This is supposed to be the anti raid uh, or raid defense tunnels. In theory, these would make great railroad tunnels, but. Eh. I think the first railroad I'll do is a railroad out to Riverton. Wow. That's a tongue twister. <laughs> Try saying that six times fast. Rail Railroad out to Riverton. Railroad out to Riverton. Yeah. <laughs> I can barely speak English normally. You know, I think we made pretty good progress on things this episode. I mean, I'm just kind of playing a little bit, you know. Playing it up. Not everything has to be a building episode. Um, next episode, we'll go ahead and work on these townhouses some more. I know I'm going to at least build one, <laughs> at the very least. Uh, and then we can go ahead and build the others. For now, I'm going to research the beacons. 
see what there is to learn about them, how they work, how wide they go, and everything. And yeah. But let's go ahead and wrap everything up. A little recap. We just finished this beacon area. Um, oh, yeah. Spruced up around the Grand Central area. Speaking of which. Thank you. Thank you. Added some lighting. Put some trees down here. Kind of spruced up around the... What's it called? The warehouses. I'll have to finish this, but I can just finish that off camera. Spruced up around the warehouses and... Reached a good stopping point in the... I guess, how do you say, the industrial era. Why am I searching for a word for that? <laughs> let's see. Oh, let's go ahead and add some unruliness to over here. It's a little hard with jump boost. I might I might switch it to uh, swiftness or regeneration because we know I'll probably end up dying by my house. <laughs> there we go. Let's run up here, see how things look, and then we should be good to wrap everything up. Um, yeah, I don't really have much after that. So, let's see. Oh, look at that. Ah, oh, so good. So good, so good. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. I know it wasn't very uh, on track. We didn't have a singular goal, but... Again, the holiday weekend, it's it's a little hard. So I'll put these videos out as best as I can to the schedule. And we won't miss a video this week. We won't miss a video unless I absolutely have to. Until then. Oh, wait. Oh. 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 Ah. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Uh, remember to leave a like on the video, uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. Let me know what you think about the beacon. Let me know any good tips for the beacon and how things work because I'm dumb. And remember, if you're new, please subscribe. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with a stream on Saturdays and random videos in between. Until next time, this has been Back to Beta Days. I'm Beanin. Peace. Wow. <laughs> it looks like a laser show.